Hey everyone, coming to you live from my treasure room, and today is package time. Dr. Otech uh, emailed me a couple of weeks ago and asked me if I would give an uh, honest review of this detector. They sent it to me in the mail, and so let's open it up and let's see what it's all about. Along with this detector, they sent me also a uh, digger, and this digger comes with a uh, sheath, comes with a safety clip here. It's got double teeth on both sides. It's uh, got your measurements here on the back. It's very sturdy built. If you're familiar with the Garrett one, it's pretty similar to that one. It's got a great ergonomical hand handle to it. And, uh, and so we're gonna be giving away this one at the end of this video, so stay tuned. And that's not everything I'm gonna be giving away. I'm also gonna be giving away this Finds box, this little Plano Finds box, and also gonna be giving away this lanyard, and I'll have all the information of all this in the video description. But this is a really good lanyard. I'm gonna talk about it here in just a little bit, so we'll be giving that away as well. So let's put that aside for now, and let's open up this detector. And Dr. Otech, they say right here on the box, the best choice for your first metal detector. So this is not going to be for the advanced detectors. This is going to be for those beginners. And I've got a very, very big surprise at the end of this video. I hope you stay with me. And I'm going to, I'm going to really surprise one young man with this uh, detector. So hang, stay tuned. It's going to be really good. So let's open this up. And let's see what this is going to be all about. All right. We're going to have our coil, which is, uh, they told me is waterproof, uh, up to the housing. Check this out. It even comes with, let's see what this is going to be. Comes with its own carrying case. Check that out. Oh, that's really neat. You put it all down in there. A little backpack. You can also put it on the belt. That's really nice. Let's just put that over there. We have our instructions and our battery there. We have our arm cuff. We have our housing. Let's set that aside. We're going to have our shaft. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, they even sent another one here. Another Dr. Otech digger. And so I'm going to be giving this one away at the end as well. And to that surprise I was telling you about. And we also have here our headphones. Comes with headphones. Check that out. So let's assemble all this and put it together and turn it on and let's check it out. Okay, I got it all laid out. It looks pretty much, if you're familiar with a Garrett, uh, the design and the layout is pretty much the same as a Garrett. Uh, so let's start with the coil. I got the coil shaft put on here. Right. 
gold. Let me figure out. There we go. It plugs in there. And then your headphones plug in right over here. We're not going to put up the headphones in just yet. And so there you have it. The S shaft console up down and your coil. Very similar to that of a Garrett. Now let's look at the control panel. Let's turn it on and see how it operates. All right, here is our display. Um, you have your ferrous, your gold, non-ferrous. You got your discrimination numbers here. You got your different modes. I mean, different discriminations here. You have your different modes. You got all metal. You got disc. You got memory and jewelry. So we're just going to go all metal. You got your volume control, which has three different settings on your volume. Your pinpoint. Uh, you have your power button right here. You just hold it down to turn it on and off. You want a backlight, which we do. We're just going to hold the volume button down. That gives us our volume. And we can see that just a little bit better. And uh, so it's pretty simple. You've got your regular stuff. You know, you got your nickels. You got your pull tab range. You got your pennies and your nickels and dimes. And you got your big silver. And um, you also have your number display here. And on each side is going to be your signal strength. And uh, you also have a sensitivity. So when, when we, uh, right over here is our depth indicator. And so I'm going to do a little air test over some of the more common stuff that you normally dig and see what we're going to come up with. Well, <laughs> there's a pull tab and nail right there at 31. All right, let me go and uh, let's uh, see what these are going to be. We'll start out with a regular penny, then we'll go with an Indian head penny. Uh, then let's go with uh, maybe a, a, a rosy dime. Then let's take and look at a, a mercury dime. Then let's look at a buffalo nickel and a war nickel. And then let's go with a silver quarter. Then let's bring out the big daddy. Let's bring out a silver dollar. And let's also do a Civil War bullet. And I may throw a few more things in there as well. So let's look at that together. Let's see what they're gonna ring up as. Let's look at a penny first. All right, penny. You see it rings up in the 70 range, 72. And um, you can see there, that's just pretty much like a Garrett. Here's an Indian head penny. Rings up a 73. Silver dime, rosy, 82. It's got real loud signals here. And that's a mercury dime reading up as an 81, which should read a little bit lower because it's a little thinner. Let's see what a buffalo nickel is going to read up. We're going down to our lower tone, 43. Now let's see what a war nickel, 44, which would be because it's going to ring up just a little bit has a little silver. All right, let's see what a uh, silver quarter, Washington quarter. There we go, right there, an 88. And a big piece dollar. 95, 95. So, so far it's ringing up just pretty much like a Garrett AT Pro. That's a Civil War bullet. 70, usually about a 68, 69 on a Garrett. One other thing that uh, we want to mention is the pinpoint button down here. This is going to be a concentric uh, coil, meaning two circles inside of another, and so it's going to pinpoint to the middle of the coil. But I wanted to show you this. You can see the meter there. off and there you got your pinpoint so you can see for a beginner uh, detector this is uh, a pretty simple one it's it's built like in shape like a Garrett uh, it, it's not as is uh, rigid and rugged as a, I would say a Garrett frame is but for a beginner detector it's very very good um, it's uh, well put together it's easy simple to operate 
And, uh, and so now we're going to take it out into the field and let's do some live testing out in the field and see how we do out there. Let's uh, just run in all metal and uh, just go from there. That way we can get kind of a variety of everything. And let's just uh, see what we come up with. my thoughts on this detector but before I do let's give something away how about that uh, let's give away uh, a digger and a fines box and a, a P cord lanyard and let me show you what these are and then uh, we're gonna put the rules on the on the screen here on how you can win these just gonna like this video it's gonna give me a thumbs up you're gonna su uh, subscribe and I want you to comment something. I don't care. Just comment what your favorite episode is or what you like about my videos or what you don't like about my videos. But uh, hopefully you don't do that, though. But uh, let's uh, let's give some things away and uh, see what we what we can come up with here uh, on this detector as I give a review to it. And I'm going to share with you how I'm going to give that away to my very best number one fan. So let's give some things away. All right. First thing I want to give away is this p cord it was given to me by a man i'll put his name on the screen right here in uh, dig uh, vets digs beep i think i'll put the correct website on the bottom now this is a lanyard that hooks onto your uh, your uh, fines pouch but this is what's really good it's got a swivel ring on it so this thing never gets hung up and this thing stretches so you can just it never gets tangled up onto your pouch or anything like that you can just stretch it out and if i had another hand i'd show you how to stretch it out but it stretches out i think this is a 22 inch one and it just goes right back in and never gets hung up on anything and so we're going to give that away again i'll put the uh the uh, website how you can order those i appreciate joshua giving those to me i believe that was his name uh here is a Plano Fines uh, pouch, I mean Fines box. Now, I know what y'all are saying. Who wants a Fines box? You know, everybody has one of those. But there's going to be something in this Fines box. So I'm not going to tell you what the surprise is going to be. But there will be something in there to be something silver. So hang on to that. Probably be some silver with this as well. And Dr. Otek, uh, the, of this detector that I'm uh, doing a review for, also sent me this uh, extra hand digger. And uh, we're going to give this away as well as I showed you earlier in the video. Pretty cool digger. It's much like the Garrett one. It's got the double serrated uh, teeth on it. And uh, it's got the measurements there on the, on the back. Good sturdy handle. It's got a good feel to it. If you're familiar with the Garrett digger, uh, that's pretty much what this is going to be like as well. So we're going to be giving that away. And the box and the P-cord. And I'm also going to be giving away this Dr. Otech MTXR. They contacted me and asked me if I'd give an honest review of it. And here comes the review. Now, the one thing that Dr. Otech says on the box when you open it up, this is a beginner's detector. This is for, you know, I think for the first time, whatever it said on the box. This is not for the advanced uh, detectorist. But if you are a beginner in metal detecting, if you are a grandfather like me and you've got grandkids, this will be a great detector to give. If you are a young father with young kids, uh, this will be a great detector if, you know, just starting out and uh, you just want a kind of a beginning de detector. This is uh, a good detector to have. It's got good tones. It's got uh, good re depth reception, uh, probably about eight inches you know, at the depth, about six inches good. Uh, it's a concentric coil. And uh, let me spin you around, I'll show it to you. It's got the concentric coil on it, and it's got the shaft, much like a Garrett AT Pro, comes up, and it's an S shaft. A uh, little bit more light duty than a Garrett AT Pro, but you would expect that from a $600 detector versus a $150, $130 detector. And uh, it's got a good light display, got a great display, great sounds, easy to operate. It's got six different modes on it. I think it was six different modes. 
And, uh, but yeah, I would give a thumbs up on this. If you would like this detector or find out more about it, I'll put the link here in the description below. And you can just go check them out on their Amazon store and put in there uh, on the diggers. You also, there's a 10% code on the digger. And if you put in there, maybe Preacher Digger, um, I think you might get a, a, a promo code there. And, um, but I'll make sure on that uh, and put that right here on the description as well. But anyway, hey, I'll give it a thumbs up for a beginner's detector. And uh, so if you got somebody that is just starting out, this would be a good one to give. And now here comes my special surprise. I'm going to give this away to my number one fan. Now, who is my number one fan? I got a lot of great fans. I got fans that are the first ones uh, that as soon as I put a video up, they're liking it and they're commenting on it. And uh, I've got people that comment on every video, positive things. I've got a lot of great fans on the Preacher Digger channel and I appreciate that very much. And that's why I like to do these giveaways and I appreciate the people giving me things to give away to you. But this is my number one fan. Now, the reason why I keep saying that is that this number one fan is a nine year old boy. And he's never metal detected in his life. And he's been begging his parents to get a metal detector. And this young man doesn't live that far away from me, just maybe 10 minutes away. And he, he called me up one day and told me that he was my number one fan. He came over to my house with his parents, toured my uh, treasure room twice so far. And uh, he even has family down in Mexico, went on a uh, trip down to Mexico, was telling all of his, his friends down there that he knows a great star here in America, a preacher digger. And so I'm a great star. Did you know that? Maybe in the eyes of a nine-year-old. But anyway, he doesn't know this. But I went and bought him a sand scoop. I bought him a pouch. Uh, I got him a digger. And, uh, and I'm going to give him this detector. And I'm going to surprise him with all this. He's been wanting to go detecting. And, and I, now I'm going to give him his very first detector and all the setup to go with it. So let's go and let's meet Andrew, my number one fan. And let's give him this detector. You said that one day you were my number one fan. Is that true? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you watch my videos? Yeah. Well, I have a little special surprise for you. It's in this bag right here. I think I'm, I think I'm going to You think you know? You come over here and sit beside me. You come over here and sit beside me with this. Oh yeah, she needs to be in the video. I uh, can't look, okay? You can't look. Now, I got something I here. <laughs> no, this is not a metal detector. Oh, uh, that's what you use. What is that? This I got you. you know what that is? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's a sand scoop. You scoop it down and you just shake it out and there you go. But what if my ring is smaller than this one? Oh. Uh, it's a finger. Oh, uh, that'll fit in there. It, it'll go in there. Let's see what else we got in my bag of goodies here. I know I got other stuff in here. I got my phone. You did? Check this out. We got you a fines pouch too. What's a fines pouch? When you find stuff and you dig oh. the trash. You put your trash in there, and you can hang stuff on it, and you just put your treasures in there, right here. You gotta put your treasures down here, the trash down in there. And so, we got that for you. Let's see what else we got in this bag of goodies. Put it in there. Here it is. Let's see. Somewhere here is something else. Check this out. What is that? That. Oh, it's a shovel. Yeah, you got a hand digger. Check that out. Scoop it down. I have to show you how to how to do that. And then you put, get a belt and put that on the on your on your pouch. Put the belt through there. <laughs> then we got this cool looking bag from Doctor Otech. Dr. Oktek sent me this stuff and asked me to do a giveaway. Asked me to, to do a review of it. And I know it was the person. I said, I'm going to get to my number one fan. Mm -hmm. And so we have. What's this? You hold that for me. And check this out. You hold this for me. Isn't that a part of the world? Yeah. We got that. 
then we got this. And we got these. Yep. Yep. And you got a pouch to keep all that stuff in. Now I'm gonna show you how to put this together. You're gonna take, this is the end, this is your console. And you're gonna take this and slide it in there, squeeze those two things together. And it locks into place. Then you can adjust it to your arm. And then you're gonna take this one. And then you're gonna push that, take this in there. These are called cam locks. And you just push it down like that. And then you're going to take this one. And you're going to do the same thing. You got to unscrew that with this. You can adjust it. volume control on your cord right here. I saw it on the video you said that they don't make it. Oh, that's my hip button, not these. And then they plug in right there. Check that out. You have your very own Dr. Oak Tech. You are now a creature here. Yeah, check that out. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Okay. Now let's go out there and let's see what we can find.